Welcome everyone to the Easy Street Podcast with Rob Scribner, your host. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Street, <laughs> the show where you never know what we're going to talk about. Uh, today's episode 15, I want to welcome you to the show. Last week was kind of interesting. And uh, so uh, in defiance, I'm going to do a few things again. Um, last week uh, in Easy Street, we uh, talked about the coronavirus. Uh, I talked about Marfugo News. And I'm going to talk about another show I liked. Um, and I'll tell you more about them in a minute. Um, but uh, <laughs> So nothing really happens to me much on this channel. Oh, occasionally I might get in trouble for having some music I shouldn't have, but nothing like a strike or anything like that. And uh, so, but uh, last week I was concerned about things I was seeing about the coronavirus. And I was uh, uh, also reviewing in another show I do on this channel uh, called What's on My Porch, um, a new uh, face mask that I, I kind of liked. And I do believe very much in prepping. Now extreme. Um, if you could do extreme, I guess that's great. But uh, uh, common sense kind of prepping is the kind of stuff I talk about. But the interesting thing is, first of all, the Marfugo family, which is a very uh, uh, neat group. Uh, this gentleman started out of uh, Seattle. I kind of told you the history last week and stuff. And so I gave him a great shout out. And then I do it again in a heartbeat. And, uh, and I still have his links in the description. So in this show, if you want to find out who this Marfugal I'm talking about, in the description, go visit his site. Please subscribe. I'm also going to talk about another uh, site that I watch. Fairly new channel, but I really like her. Uh, she's very uh, cordial and uh, does her research and uh, has a new... A new channel looks like it's fairly new and uh, she's been working on it and uh, you can see she's getting her process down a lot better um, and learning as she's going anyway it's called fringe files and um, let me show you a, a picture of what her YouTube channel looks like if I can find it on the screen here I thought I pulled it up yep right here <clears throat> Anyway, when you go to the site, I think she still needs to do a little editing to kind of sp spread out her videos or categorize or make a playlist. But she's really fun to watch. And uh, she does, I'm, <laughs> she's just doing a single show. You can tell she's still got kind of a basic equipment, which is fine. That's a great way to start. But she's really good about speaking and and doing our reports and things she's concerned about and has quite a family of her own of people sending her files and information about things that she's researching at the time. She's done some very good um, oh, analytical uh, shows about the coronavirus and uh, um, I really like her. And so when she comes out with a new show, we jump on it and watch it. And so I'm just as a rebel. Why not? If I'm going to get this, so in trouble, I'll I'll do it. So anyway, here she is. Uh, Fringe Files. The link to her YouTube channel is in the description below too, along with Mar Fugles. And I will continue to give them shout outs no matter what. So uh, I also want to remind you that uh, Easy Street is a half hour show. And it's also uh, syndicated on Good Talk Radio. That's goodtalkradio.com. And if you have a show, and, and I'm telling Marfugal Group, and I'm telling Fringe Files, um, I will be happy to take the audio version of your shows and run them at midnight, because we can do that. Um, our radio station is a program and software and things like that. And we also, uh, but we know that your shows vary from from time to time what how long they run so if you are interested in syndicating your shows in an audio version on worldwide radio good talk radio uh give us a holler and i'd be happy to work with you, you got to change your show over to an mp3 file and um go with that now other people who may be <laughs> catching this show uh, if you're doing podcasts and things like that really you should contact me tell me what your podcast is about 
If you want to do a regular show with us, you can. However, you got to meet some credentials like um, being consistent once a week, once a day, whatever you do your podcast. They have to be consistent in length. If it's an hour show, it has to always be an hour show. Um, and we, when you syndicate with us, we also ask that you announce our Good Talk radio station that you're being syndicated and go listen to your show over there. And we work with each other because we also advertise your shows. So it's, um, <laughs> and uh, this is, there isn't really money involved as it is shout outs to each other. And then we also have a product called the Ranger Rob Poopy Bags um, that uh, we ask uh, our syndication people if they would run once in a while. And we appreciate that. So anyway, the story I wanted to pass on to you is I have never, ever had a video um, on YouTube that's been told that it's not been able to be monetized till the last video. <laughs> don't know why. I don't know if it's because I had Marfugal on there or coronavirus or, uh, or what, but uh, I, I'm disputing it. We'll see what happens. Uh, but the benefits, I want to thank everybody last week who came over and watched the show, subscribed to the show and helped us out. And we ask you that <laughs> you continue to share your, uh, our shows with others. We will do our best. We have a diff. I mean, I guess what I like about our show is we're an older generation than the ones that are, I've been giving shout outs to. And, uh, uh, you might find that we're on the same page. Uh, path and even though we may be from different generations we have the same concerns you do and I'm certainly totally tickled pink to see younger folks than me um, us old-time patriots you might call us uh, we you know still do pledge allegiance and think you know we can pr pray in class and things like that so <laughs> anyway to see young people fighting for that again um, and not letting it just slide on by um, is really, really nice to see. It really is. And so, um, they will get my full support and yes, I'll take the, the lumps and bumps too, as that comes along. Um, when my channel gets kind of, I got my first slap, <laughs> I didn't get a strike or nothing anyway, but they just said they would monetize it. That's, I've just never had that happen. I'm sure you guys that are doing these shows all the time that have some of these interesting subjects. Uh, see that all the time. But for me, it was like, guys, really? Ranger Rob, we always are you know, family oriented kind of stuff. Uh, we get to the edge once in a while, but never has that ever happened to us. And it's really sad. And so all we can do is just turn the other cheek and, and believe in what we believe in and support each other. And last week, uh, the Marfugo folks, um, that channel explode. My channel exploded. My video got lots of uh, views. And uh, I appreciate it. So please continue to subscribe. Please uh, continue to uh, uh, share our videos around. And uh, ours are kind of fun and family oriented. Uh, we're not as hardcore, you might say, as the two uh, that I'm talking about. Um, but do visit them if you enjoy uh, platforms that will inform you what we call alternative news. Um, try not to give a, get pass this fake news stuff, get us the real story. Sometimes go right to the source, like with the coronavirus. They're going right to uh, Japan, uh, to China, and, and digging up, finding out some of these little uh, bootleg uh, videos coming out that people can get out, because um, you know it's not a great area, to, <laughs> there's a lot of control over there. And so uh, it takes a lot of hard work and research to find some of that those reports and it's uh, um, and those guys are reporting it and that's a good thing and uh, so when you watch a little bit of the regular primetime news and a little bit of the cable news and alternative you can come up with your own ideas of what's really going on out there so uh, next thing I wanted to do was show you uh, what the report is uh, on the coronavirus um, uh, and let me change over to the other page so since last time I talked to you folks last week, uh, the numbers have definitely grown. So uh, yeah, right now, um, now these are controversial numbers. Uh, this is, but this is what's being reported. And it basically is showing 19, almost 20,000 people that are 
confirmed uh, having the coronavirus. Uh, it looks like we have 426 deaths so far, and they said there's over 623 have recovered. We've had our uh, first death outside of China in the Philippines, and we're now up to, I believe, 11 people confirmed sick in the United States. So uh, it's concerning, and really, we want to pay attention to this. The other thing that's been kind of interesting is... Uh, Today is Monday when I actually did this part of the show, and I really expected the stock, stocks to start crashing, and uh, they didn't. Now, China, they're having issues, but they also injected money into their society. I don't know if what happened in ours, but we actually held our ground and actually had a gain. So I would say keep your eye on the stocks because we are intertwined a lot between uh, our two countries uh, and the good thing is you know economically when when you're working together with different products and you depend on one another you tend not want to kill each other so that's a good thing in a good way um, but the bad thing is is when they're down and they're really down uh, manufacturing has come to a, a halt and uh, some folks of us and I deal with the uh, Chinese too on products that we make and uh, luckily we're stocked up well and they're not gonna, it shouldn't affect us but uh, yeah, I'm expecting our, our stock markets to fill a bump. I don't know when, but I thought it'd be today, but that's a good thing it didn't. So anyway, keep your eyes on that. That could cause us some lumps and bumps in the future, and I'll keep an eye on it, and I'll report it if I see a real issue. But uh, I was kind of expecting to talk about that today, and it didn't happen. So, but hold on tight, guys. <laughs> Put your seatbelts on. It should be an interesting ride for the next old two weeks. This cannot continue in our parks and streets. There is a dog bag out there that is larger and deeper and easy to use. Ranger Rob Poopy Bags is the solution. It's larger, it's deeper, and has handles and smells like lemon. You can find Ranger Rob Poopy Bags premium bags at Amazon with free shipping. And we're back. And yes, we are the manufacturers of Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. And if you really want to support our channel and our radio station and our uh, our YouTube channel and stuff, uh, liking, subscribing, and sharing our videos are really helpful. But also buying our product, which uh, instead of you know asking for donations and begging for money and stuff, we actually created a product, and uh, we're pretty proud of them. They're called Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, and they're great bags and they're affordable, very affordable. And um, what you'll like about them is they're a dog bag. If you got a dog and you got to pick up after them, and we wish you do, um, you want a good bag, a solid, strong bag with uh, that's deeper and wider and has handles, so it's really easy to turn them inside out, tie them off. No big, no, we keep it easy, easy peasy. So yes, please go to Amazon, and we have the links in the description below how to get to our bags. You can buy them in sheets, and you can buy them in rolls. And uh, we also have a little um, uh, fabric dispenser that you can get with uh, one of our... So we have three different products, and we appreciate it. The other thing is you're probably wondering, where'd you get that cool hat, Rob? And so for uh, uh, people who watched our show last week, we told you we're from Washington State. And when I was a teenager and party hardied at the time, <laughs> many moons ago... Uh, our top beers that we were always, well, they weren't the top, but in the region was uh, Olympia. Um, and for those of you who are from Washington, you know that you got to, you know, when you're driving, you got to watch out for artesians. The other is Rainier Beer. And Rainier Beer uh, was in Seattle, and uh, they, they still make beer. And uh, my uh, friend of ours that was here last week uh, gave me a hat from them official hat from Rainier beer and uh, probably shouldn't be wearing it but uh, I'm supporting a, a, <laughs> a great beer and a great company and they're from the Northwest and I uh, uh, they had some really cool commercials back in the day um, and for anybody maybe up north you might remember the Rainier beer <laughs> It was a motorcycle. You had to be there, I guess. Anyway, so I thought it'd be cool to show you my Rainier hat. Isn't that thing cool? Yes, I'm proud of it. 
and I always will be. And yes, whenever I can get some Rainier, I buy it, try to bring it down here. I've actually got some Rainier down here in Arizona. So uh, anyway, that's what I just had to give a shout out to my hat. All right, guys. So this is part of my ranting or just concerns, maybe a little preaching. I don't know what it is, and I apologize, but I hope it's helpful. I did want to point out, uh, I want to kind of go back to the coronavirus a little bit and then also talk a little bit about preparing. Uh, there is another website out there that's called WooFlu.live. And um, I do have a copy of it here for you to see. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, anyway, uh, it's called WooFlu.live. Uh, and it's another one that um, uh, currently its numbers is a little higher than the ones I show showed you earlier. Uh, it's showing a confirmed 20,000 deaths for 26 and recovered. Uh, I can't read that number. 644 it says. And uh, anyway, it's a pretty informative website. So if you get a chance on your computer, uh, go to the wooflu.live and that seems to be a pretty uh, good site to go get information and bookmark it and so you can kind of monitor this stuff. <clears throat> Sorry, I uh, <laughs> was uh, playing with the dog and yelling and screaming and having a good time. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about, and I talked a little bit about it in my last show, and I just don't know if people are uh, really taking this serious. And there was uh, one show I was watching, this. it was like three stages before people start taking something serious. And the first phase is people ridicule it and make fun of it. Other people, um, and then second phase is um, uh, people get a little more information about it. And then basically the third is people start reacting. And we're just now getting, in some cases, reacting. Where some major meetings are being canceled and things like that because they're worldwide. And a lot of people are supported by Asian countries and stuff. And they've had to... Say, uh, let's start <clears throat> wising up and let's not have a meeting this month. <laughs> well, what's it going to be like in one to two weeks? That should help a little. Anyway, so <clears throat> in the next week or so, it will be interesting what I'll be talking about. I don't know what I'll be talking about. Other than the fact that uh, either things are kind of like, eh, Looks like we have it under control or in the next two weeks we're going to see a change in what's going on and they are seeing this a, is a pandemic and uh, um, we start seeing a kind of a different thing happening in our own country and other countries and uh, they're also saying it's very unusual we're not seeing anything down in South America or uh, Africa and they're kind of concerned about that because it may be one of those things where it's not being reported at all and it's it's growing to a point uh, or growing at a rate or exposure is going on down there where by the time they detect it it's too late and that's kind of scary <clears throat> so what i want to do is try to get people to before we get into the point of we realize there is a, a, an issue then life is going to be hard to get a lot of things for prepping. And when I'm saying prepping, it's like having extra food. Sherry and I uh, went through all of our prepping and stuff. And and uh, behind me, actually, I have a green screen. Behind that is the entire shelf wall of nothing but prep food. And then there's another room with prep food. And uh, <clears throat> we store a lot of water. But you got to remember what's kind of neat, well not neat, what's nice about this in a way is water may still be available for quite some time and electric. So your refrigerator and stuff, you'll be in pretty good shape. You could probably hold out a long time if you got stuff in your freezer and you can still have water at your tap. That's a good thing. So, uh, but the thing is, you're going to have to be hanging out a little bit. So some of the weak points I think me and Sherry pointed out was we were like looking and realized that. <clears throat> things to treat colds um, and the only reason we kind of notice it lately is we're just getting over colds if you can't tell and uh, 
um, cough syrup, um, different aspirins, Ferroflu, things like that, we're really weak on. So we're actually going to go and stock up on that stuff because what's it going to hurt? If there's not a problem, hey, we got it on hand. If, um, but if everybody starts realizing we do have a problem, then the stores are going to get hit pretty hard. You already see it happening with air, um, face masks and things like that. So face masks, they're saying is they're nice. They're really not going to help you that much from catching it, but it does help keep you from touching your face where the germs are in your hands. And so that's a good thing to have, especially if you're going out and about, it may get you in a habit of not touching your face. And that's a good thing that washing your hands all the time, getting yourself some, uh, hand sanitizer, go get that now because you can't, you're not going to, it's already a problem trying to get it. <clears throat> no, I'm not dying. It's a cold. Anyway, so, uh, is it ridiculous to start thinking about this stuff now early? I don't think so. Most of the things we're talking about are things you should have at the house anyway. So, what are you waiting for? Because if you wait, don't you, have you ever been in one of those situations where something's happened? You go, why didn't I, <laughs> why didn't I put a spare tire in the, in the car and I got a flat tire now? Well, don't be that person. Take the time, have a little fun with it, buy stuff that you reuse and cycle through. So you don't feel like you're wasting your money, but spend a little bit more money on that stuff this week than going out to the casino or going out buying that electronic game or something hold off for a week or two and spend it on prepping up your house a little bit your apartment whatever it takes um in case you gotta hold up for a while and uh go with that um life is gonna be different i think all of us are gonna be in shock americans are spoiled we don't really know hard times. <clears throat> if something happens, um, at least we have really good communication. We have freedom of speech somewhat, <laughs> and uh, unless you get demonetized. Um, but uh, we're talking to each other, and there's no way any secrets could be kept in the United States to tell the world like China because we are a free country. Uh, we're going to have problems with people not wanting to uh, hunker down. Um, a lot of rebels out there. People can't see things, can't touch it, feel it. They pretend they don't have it. And so we're going to have some issues in that area. But I just wish I could get the message out to people that go grocery shopping tomorrow, buy a few extra things. And uh, throw a few more things in the freezer. We're going to have power for a while. If we got really, really bad, then that could be an issue. But this isn't shit hit the fan. It's just shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put it that way. The best prescription in life is good talk radio. Great talk shows, great music, great people. Join us. That's goodtalkradio.com. Well, guys, we're getting close to wrapping up the show, and I wanted to invite you to Good Talk Radio. And it's like, what is Good Talk Radio? Well, it's an internet radio station. And you can listen to us on iHeartRadio. You can listen to us on iTunes, TuneIn, um, or just go to Good Talk Radio. You can pull us up on several applications on your cell phone. And in nowadays, in newer cars, you can plug your cell phone right into your radio. And... Uh, What's really cool about Good Talk Radio is we have some excellent talk radio shows. They tend to be uh, conservative, but there's some liberal stuff too. We're kind of open-minded. Anyway, some great shows that we syndicate from all over the world and some of the best speakers out there. And they have daily shows with us. Uh, and then we have several spots where we're playing really good music and we try to do the music around uh, your commuting time at nighttime when you're sleeping. We go down to a light, easy rock and uh, yeah, just a lot of good stuff. Um, 
and in the weekends we have a lot of activity types of podcasts and shows check it out good talk radio and if you have an alexa every time i say this my alexa will go off if you have an alexa say these words alexa go to tune in and play good talk radio say it clearly she's going to come on in a minute here it comes <laughs> here she comes alexa stop so yeah my alexa we keep alexa in here and uh anyway so you can listen to us in your house uh, right through your Alexa, and that's a really cool thing through your Echo. I'm quite saying the word Alexa. I'm going to get myself in trouble. Do take the time now, not later, now to stock up on a few things and, and, and ask yourself, what if you can go to the grocery store? What if, uh, you know, uh, a few things get canceled? What if the kids have to be home from school? Could your, could your household handle it? If the answer is no, I'm not sure, you better go fix that. Not later. Don't say around to it. You need to do it now. And uh, like I said, get buy things that you normally would use to stock up a little heavier and um, do it day by day and spread it out if you have to, but don't wait very long. We've already seen the results of some of this. And if it isn't this, what's going to be in the future that might come up where you're going to be glad you have a little bit of a, you know, extra food around the house. But if we all get told to stay home, keep the kids away from school, don't go to certain meetings anymore. Maybe even your work says we're shutting down for a couple of weeks. What are you going to do? Are you ready? Can you handle it? Because the grocery stores... If they've got anything, you know they're going to... We already saw what happened with our face mask that I was talking about in my other show. They raised the price by 20 bucks. What are they going to do now when you need eggs? And it's $10 for a dozen. <laughs> Don't laugh. It could happen. So anyway, uh, uh, I know it's hard to believe that it could actually happen here. But we're already seeing a little taste of it. That should be enough for you to be a little bit concerned. I would say you should be a lot concerned. Well, okie dokie, guys. It's time to wrap this show up. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. If you're li listening to the audio version of this on Good Talk Radio, uh, we you can catch the video version of this at Ranger Rob uh, YouTube channel. And... Uh, yeah, and, and our Facebook, too. Go to Good Talk Radio's Facebook, and you can find it there. So anyway, thanks again for listening. Be safe out there. Be smart. Think about this stuff, some of the stuff we're talking about. Think about it. Do it. But don't wait too long. Don't be that person that goes, why didn't I do it? So, guys, thank you very much. I want to thank the Marfugo folks and Fringe Files. Um, I hope you get a chance to go visit their sites Make sure you uh, subscribe to them. Tell them Ranger Rob sent you. So, guys, have a great day. Be safe. Till next time, bye. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.